What is up everybody, Under Average Joe here, and we are back with our NHL 14 be a GM commentary. Uh, I don't know what episode this is, and I'm just going to give you guys the, uh, the heads up right away here. Uh, if you can't tell, I'm just extremely tired, I'm just wiped out, uh, because we were supposed to have a swim meet today, and uh, we were supposed to go to a town that's like an hour away from us. And, uh, it, the swim, they actually had, like, a fire or something at the school. And it was a small fire. It was, like, in a storage closet area, whatever, maybe, like, a janitor's area. And, uh, yeah. So, they actually had to close down the school. So, our swimming got canceled. And, uh, yeah, coach, our coach made us swim a lot in practice, because we still had to practice. And I'm, I'm just exhausted. I, <laughs> there's no other words to describe how tired I am. Except just plain old exhausted. So we're going to go right ahead into free agency. Not free agency. Uh, the re-sign phase. And we're going to see who we are going to re-sign. And who we're going to keep. And, uh, I don't plan on making too many major changes. Uh, we have 12 and a half mil to spend. So first of all, I want to see what Elliot is going to demand. Uh, actually, 1.2 million... He's not horrible. I mean, he, he's pretty average. Uh, pfft. See, the thing is, though, is if he can get back to this form that he used to be, he would just be a solid goalie, but for now, I honestly don't know. Oh, no, my God. I'm sorry. I'm just starting the zone out. I am just so tired. Uh... Like, my brain is literally, like, fried. Um, because if you do not know, uh, in swimming, I happen to be a butterflyer, which is probably the stroke that takes the most energy out of any stroke. And, uh, ooh, do we want to give Bonnie, uh, not Bonnie, what am I saying? Johnny Boychuk almost four million dollars? Eh, that's a bit of a stretch, in my opinion. Uh, but he's pretty baller on the power, uh, not power, but penalty kill. We'll see. We'll come back to him. How? What is Redmond gonna go? Uh, he had a r actually a really good year down in the minors. All right. What does Redmond want? Oh yeah, I'll take that. That's actually that's actually a good deal. Sweet. So we have him locked up for three years. By the time that's over, he'll be almost thirty. So he'll just be d done developing. Uh, Zach's not developing as much as I'd want him to, but that's just kind of whatever. Are there any, uh, what about Eric Tangrati? Well, we don't really have much of a choice. Uh, I mean, yeah, he's, he's pretty solid. He's pretty average. All right, uh, what do you want? One million, what, what could we tender him an offer for? Yeah, we'll just put it on an offer. Just for now, because I know we're going to resign him, but you never know. Somebody might be like, hey, we'll trade you this for him, or, you know. Oh, eh, we not, we're not going to get much compensation for him or anything. Alright, uh, two million for two years for Oli Okunen. Is that worth it? For Oli? Uh, we could have James Wright come in. And play on that second line, I would imagine. Uh, he's a two-way forward. But no, I want experience for this year. For this next season, I want experience. We're not like a rebuilding team. We are a now team. I mean, this is... This might be our do or die season. Because <laughs> next year we're going to have Ladd as a free agent. We're going to have... Uh, who else? Next year we're going to have Ladd, Shifle. Oh my god, next year is going to be a horrible year for a free agents. Uh, so down here, anybody we have to sign... We need to sign this Patan guy. Just because if we don't, then somebody else is going to pick him up. Because he's four green stars, which is actually pretty good. Uh, we'll come back to him. Anybody else? No. Alright, down here. Tender Tangrati, a qualifying offer. Peluso, I'm not worried about at the moment. Let's see. Boy, Chuck, we'll come back to you. Uh, these guys down in the minors, I'll just come back to. Elliot, I'm gonna go ahead and give him that money. Just cause it's actually a pretty small amount of money, but so yeah, I don't really care about it. Uh 
four gold stars on Eric Comrie. And he's 19. That's actually not bad. Alright, so let's go ahead a year. And a year? What am I saying? A day. And we'll see how much money we have left. Because I do want to have uh, some money. Just for, like, you know, next year. When uh, we got to deal with all that jazz. Uh, renew my contract. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. So are these are the only people that resigned? Or who do we all have? Uh, centers. Alright, all of our NHL guys are resigned. I'm just gonna give him the money. I mean, why not? <laughs> it's only a million, too, so it's not like it's anything major. Uh, go on through. Peluso. Everybody down in the miners, I'll worry about it later. Uh, Johnny Boychuk. Now, wait, wait, wait. How is our defense gonna look this year? So we're gonna have Buff and Toby on the first line. Zachy and we're gonna go Stewart. Maybe. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking Stewart. Uh, considering how Boychuk did this year, Boychuk, Boychuk's gonna be a third pair kind of guy. And, and for four million, that's honestly that's a bit of a stretch. Uh, because on the penalty kill, we can have Buff and Zach for sure. Stewart for sure. Uh, who, wait, who else do we have? Do we have one, two, three, four, five? Alright, so Redmond's gonna be our sixth guy. He's gonna. He's gonna be on the. Ooh, he, he, yeah, he's gonna be on that third defensive pairing. That's not that big. Wait, is he offensive or defensive? He's a two way. Okay. Uh, I'd rather have Stewart up there, I think, than Redmond. Um, now, Boychuk is actually a lot of money. Just for the penalty kills. Whoa. We could put Redmond on the penalty kill, honestly. If we really wanted to. Oh, that's why this is actually, it's actually pretty a difficult decision. Just because, uh... I mean, it's not like four million. That's not a small amount of money. It's actually quite a bit, which is why it's so scary. Because if he turns out to be a bust this year, we're stuck with that contract for the next few years, and uh, that's not a good situation I want to be in. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Why is this Hutchinson guy wanting two point five million? Uh, I'm definitely just going to just tender you a qualifying offer. And if somebody wants to give me something for you, that's great. Because you're only a 76 overall. And if you're demanding $2.5 million out of me, that's not going to fly. Alright, so we will go ahead a day. Simulate up to this day. See, this is... Uh, this is actually going to be... It's, it's going to be a big decision with Boychuk. It's either... It's a really big hit or miss... Uh, see, that's, that's the thing though is we could honestly we could if he's a hit then we have an honest we have one of the strongest defensive cores in the league because we're going to have uh, yeah we're going to have Buff and Toby and Zach filling in the top four with we got to switch with uh, Boychuk, Stewart or Redmond and then we just have a bottom two of either the other two of these guys, which is probably gonna be Boy Chuck and Redmond. Do what? I'm not. Even, I'm gonna do it. I'm not even gonna look back. I'm not even gonna worry about it, cause you never know. He might be, turn out to be a really just baller player in his late years. He might blossom in his later years. You never know. Uh, who is this? Jimmy Lodge. We've, we've got 46 guys. We might as well just sign them. We only have 46 guys. Not that big of a deal. Get them locked up for three. Okay. Uh, these guys we don't have to sign yet. Alright, let's just go through our minor leaguers. Uh, Anthony Peluso. Any good? He's a grinder. He's not bad. Yeah, he's not bad. He's plus nine. He's like a decent third liner down there. Or something like that. I don't even know. I'm not... Uh, I'm not too experienced with minor league teams, but I'm not going to screw around with them too much, you know. I don't see a point in really messing with them. Uh, what about this, this Sprong guy? Is he from, uh, 
All right, he's Canadian, so we don't have to worry about somebody snatching him up. Because if they're from Europe, I'm pretty sure they could just uh, pick them right up, right from free agency. Because uh, they don't have to go. To, they yeah, they don't go to the CHL like normal uh, uh, Canadians do. Now, I actually, I'm not sure how it works for Americans, uh, like American hockey players. Uh, I actually, I think a lot of them either go to college or to. Uh, uh, the CHL. So we have this enforcer who hasn't played in a few years. Yeah, neither of these two guys that we have here, this uh, Melchiori or Saul, I really played. They're not like a real contributing factor. Uh, 56 overall guy. Uh, <laughs> I'm not too sure on that one. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to resign that guy. I mean, he's just, he's not that great. <laughs> A 56 overall, two and a half red star. That's iffy. Iffy at best. So we might as well just resign these. Uh, can I give him one year? All right, I'll give him a one year. Uh, I'm gonna give both these guys one years. In this case, there's we want we need to resign a really good rookie next year. Then we'll have some of the uh, roster space available so we don't have to put anybody like uh, on waivers, whatever. Who is this Elko Nora guy? Uh, is he any good? He's going to be like our sixth goaltender. Yeah, he played one game. <laughs> Let in two goals. Nah, I don't care. You know, he is going to play behind Hutchinson and Pascal. Actually, we might not have Hutchinson come back this year. <laughs> Just because if he's going to ask for that much money, uh, he's he's got another thing coming. I'm not going to deal with that. I wonder if we can sign anybody in free agency. That would actually be interesting to see what options we have. Alright, so I'm just going to go right down our list here. Uh, anybody that we still need to re-sign? Yes? No? I'm sorry this is a bit of a boring episode, guys. It's just... This is something we need to get done, and I didn't want to do off camera. Who is this guy? Hunka. Oh wow, he's actually turning out good. Ooh, ooh, we should probably sign him because he is not Canadian. So I'm pretty sure they could pick him up, but I'm just gonna sign him. Just because he's actually good. He could play in our NH or not NHL, AHL this year. Uh, yeah, I don't care about this guy. I'm not going to sign Kostelek. Uh, scroll all the way down, and I think we're good. And that'll be about it. So we can go right ahead to free agency. And we're going to have, like, three open spots. So, uh, it has been a dream of mine to join this team. All right. Well, sweet. Uh, I want to see who's all available. I see, uh... Who's I Cole? I don't know what Ian Cole, or I Cole is. It Ian Cole? I don't know who that is. So pfft. I'm gonna guess it's I. Ian. Ian. I'm gonna guess Ian. I don't care. Uh, let's find out who this I Cole. Oh wow, we got uh St Stall, Kane, Chris Stewart. We got a lot of guys in the market there. Um. Let's see. Who wants the most money? Kane. Let's just go to unrestricted free agents. Kane's and They let Kane walk? My god. Oh my god, that's ridiculous. Uh, I'm not sure what to do here. Because I don't need these kind of guys. These guys are just kind of insane. Uh, if anything, what do we need? Can I just view my lines? No. So, for this coming season... Let's uh, kind of look at our contracts here. We'll kind of overlook it. Uh, and we're going to have Little, then Shifle. Little's going to be on the first line this upcoming season. Just because Shifle's plus minus is still a little iffy. So it's going to go Little, Shifle, Jokinen, then Slater. So at center, we are pretty good. We just signed Jokinen to a contract. Pretty fresh contract, so I think that'll be good. Uh, should be a solid. Uh, we're pretty deep down the middle, except for Slater. Who's a, he's he's kind of getting iffy with age. 
Uh, we have Lad, Kane, House check on the top right wing. And who does that leave us with on the uh, third line left wing? Hold on, it's got to be a right winger. Uh, oh, that's right, Yager retired. Uh, who was that retired? It was Yager and Robida. Uh, so we do need a left winger. Actually, just any winger. Uh, maybe we can get a first line winger. Hmm. I'm intrigued now. Alright, uh, wingers. We can't go after Kane. Just because of how uh, insane that contract is. Because that is ridiculous. How many points did he get anyways? 72. Do you what? Could I put a bin in for him? Please. You know how funny that would be? Oh my god. Uh, I want to do it, but it's just that's an insane amount of money. That really is. For something we don't even need, because we have Halas, Chuck, and Kane, and Lad. Uh, we just need a third, uh, not a third liner. A second or third liner would be nice. So we have Stewart, who gets 54 points. Um. So we're going to have Lad and Kane and House Chuck and who's going to be on the third line? I mean not third line, second line. Do we have a second line right winger? Huh. Ha ha ha. Okay. So to review, on the wing we're going to have first line, first line, second line, fourth line. So we have third line and left winger. Oh yeah, Wheeler. I right, see. So yeah, we just need a third line left winger or it doesn't matter really I could just swap him over alright so we just need a third line winger nothing more uh... he's got three offers on him so we're just gonna leave that alone uh... a third center oh, is, oh does it mean third checking forward uh... we want a third scoring actually let's see Stewart Williams Alfie God. Third line scoring forward. Puts up 24 points. Uh, two and a half mil for two years. Can he contribute on the power play at all? In his, no, not in his old age. I mean, what did you expect out of him? Uh, can we get another center? Darren Helm. God, Sean Horkoff's finally on the market. Oh, God, he's horrible. Uh, Kyle Brodziak. Oh, my. Wait, is that in the minors? That's NHL! What? No way! Oh, what if we what if we got him? Oh my god. How much money? I'm doing it. I'm putting in an offer. I'll bump it up to There you go. If this He's considering all of his options. Um What is there at goalie? Nothing really. Nothing at all. There's D. Pietro, uh, Vokun, we got Emery, Martin Jones, Harding, Budai, yeah, so nothing really, nothing better than really than Elliot at the moment, um, so let's go ahead to like the fourth or whatever, and hopefully we will get an answer back, nope, ugh, I want to see where Kane goes, because wherever he goes is actually be a pretty solid team this year. Alright. Yes! We got Kyle Bronziak on our third line. And we're going to probably switch Jokin in over to the wing. Actually, who's better on the face-offs? I want to see this real quick. Who's better on the face-off draw? This is insane. Alright. So he's on face-offs, he has 75, Jokin has 69. So we're definitely going to put Brodziak at uh, center with Jokin in on the wing. And then we're going to have Froelich on the other wing. That's gonna just going to be a solid line. That's a really good line. Hmm. Well, okay, that actually makes it a lot better. Um, and those other two slots, like the 49th 50th, and 50th, I'm going to leave in case somebody gets dropped down on waivers. And I think that will about do it for this episode. 
uh, because I'm insanely tired. I just want to go to bed. It's 7.30, which is actually really early for me to go to bed, but I don't care because I've got to go practice at like 6 in the morning. So, uh, yeah, and, you know, I just really wanted to get this video out for you guys because I'm determined to pretty much no matter what make a video every day, you know, rain or shine, sleet, hail, uh, physical exhaustion, exhaustion, exhaustion. And uh, if I drop dead, I'll still make a video. Like, I'll have, like, somebody, like, move my corpse. And I actually that's morbid. A little bit of necrophilia going on there. Mm, we're going to end on that note. <laughs> so don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I just burped right into the microphone. That was hot. So I will see you guys later.